Hi everyone, welcome to the Curiops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be able to create a command to search for, uh, for the documentation of the Curiops project, right? So uh, for me, this is very important because uh, some, the documentation that I have it for Git and Unix, for instance. So usually you use those commands when you are on a command line. So for you to, if you need a specific command or if you're looking for something and you don't know, you're going to switch to a browser and then search. So it takes time. So if you know and you have the documentation inside your terminal already, why not to use it? It's going to be much faster for you to use it, access and learn it. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive, receive notifications of my next videos. And I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous ones, right? So let's start here. So we have here the documentation, bbdocs already. But bbdocs is for this, the framework of the CLI that we're using. This is the docs for the CLI itself, for the framework. And I'm going to remove this because we don't want this, right? So I'm going to put this on the readme file for my CLI, but I'm not going to keep it on my CLI, right? I think it's a very good documentation to have. It's very important to have. However, um, I, want, I want this to only have uh, uh, my CLI stuff, right? Cool, so this is the docs. You see, there is a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just delete it. Then I'll decide if I, if I have a better use, if I can use in a, in a better way, maybe I create a, a new command. I'll think of something, right? Cool. And now I'm going to use the command that we created called new command. And I'm going to post the links for the video that we created that command. Uh, it's new command docs. So um, I just created a, this is the command, right? The docs is the parameter. So now I have a clean doc, right? So what I can do is it, I can. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, give it a name. List of all QA ops projects. And now I'm going to say, I want this to receive a topic and a language. Uh, there you go. There you go. A little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to just copy here because it's going to be better, faster, actually. Cool. So the topic is the topic, uh, topic file to be searched. And the language is either BR or English. So BB docs. I'm going, I'm not going to pass a specific command because this is just to search the docs. I don't, I don't see we using other stuff here maybe and I'll need to adapt. So instead of having like a specific action, I'm going to put asterisk. Sorry, I'm going to put asterisk here. So it's going to enter here regardless of, of what is sent. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to say topic is going to be the first parameter and language is also going to be is going to be the second parameter right however uh so let me do like an echo here right if i do bb echo here is going to appear because since it's not validating it's entering here anywhere anytime so when i do bb is entering there because it's not expecting anything else. So I need to validate if something was not sent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if dash Z, uh, which is uh, for empty string, if the variable is empty, if topic is empty, I don't need if, uh, then 
return just return so now there is no issue right it's going to keep going cool uh, now i can i can do something uh nice so what we can do here is my docs folder it's i, I this is my cli this is my doc folder all right so i already have my docs folder here with the files and whatnot and this is in the qa ops project folder and this is the default project the default folder i could put like a the folder in a variable in a uh, in the user config file but this is the default this is where you should hold everything related to qa ops so this is where it's going to expect to be so what i'm going to do i'm going to say okay you send me a file we, i'm going to create the docs folder which i know the docs folder is on my projects dir and this is already a variable inside the, the cli uh in the framework itself which is this project here right the folder where the cli it is so it's going to be docs and this is the docs folder now i'm going to say cat to print it in docs folder and now i'm going to create whatever the user passed so it's topic dash language dot md because it's topic dash language dot md and i'm catting for it so now when i do bb bb search git br is going to i don't need search it's bb docs if i put english it's now in english if i change to unix it's unix right and you see that unix is quite big file so you can just like if you are looking for you know you're looking for the cat command you can do just pipe grab cat and you have the command right here in front of you right cool um great but not everything is great right the first thing that i can do is let's say that uh you have the folder in a wrong place so i'm just going to validate that right so i can do if dash d for is this folder valid So I'm going to say docs folder. Then I'm going to say in yellow docs folder not found in docs folder. I'm going to break a line. Please download it. right so if i remove my docs folder and i do now bb docs units okay so i made a mistake here right dash d is going to validate if the doc folder exists right uh i want to validate if it does not exist right so if the docs folder does not exist right then enter here great and now i'm going to exit zero because i don't want the code to keep going docs folder not found and i'm going to put this in red doc folder not found here please download it so let's use the cli to download my docs folder so bb uh repos download docs i'm going to post the links for the command that i just executed to download the the docs so now if i do docs unix it, it printed amazing right cool so but what else there is one thing right here right so 
we validated this, we validated this, we did not validate this language. I can pass a default language. I can put here like a, if the user does not pass something, I can put like a default language here. So I can put BR. So if no language is passed, uh, it's inside, it needs to be inside the, the, the curly brackets. So I did not pass the language and it got BR, right? In English, it's, it, and it's going to change. Uh, if you do not pass it, it's going to use the default one. If you pass it, it's going to use whatever you pass it. So this is a default value, which is amazing. You don't have to validate it or not. However, not everyone is going to want Portuguese. May, uh, maybe uh, they want a Brazilian Portuguese. Maybe they want English. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create on the user config. We have a user config and I'm going to post the link for that user config, how we created that user config and how it works. And here I'm going to say export user language. And I'm going to give it BR and I'm going to say options is going to be BR or English. And on my config template, I need to put the same thing too here, right? Because now when you, you create the template, uh, you can choose um, whatever language you want, right? So, and, and when you're creating, setting up the, the CLI, you need to know that there is this option uh, of a user language, right? And I'm going to leave a comment here, so, um, so it's an option, right? You can do it or you don't need to do it, it's up to you. Cool, so instead of putting BR hardcoded here, now I'm going to say user language, right? So if I don't pass it, voila, Portuguese, right? If I pass it, uh, where is it? If I pass it English, voila, English. I, if I pass it BR here, it's going to change it, but I don't need to I just say, give me whatever. I don't, need, I, I don't need to care more about the language. So another thing that I'm going to do is you can set the default language in the user config and you have a variable for that. So the user config is called, it's this variable here in the user config. So bb docs and I'm going to break a line here. I'm going to make it here. There you go. I don't like this in the menu. You can set the default language in the user config file in the user config file. That's enough. Cool. Awesome. However, there is still something that I don't like here, right? So what if it's still wrong? What if I do this Java? Right? So it is okay error, but the user might not know why and, 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 uh, I, I think I need a better message than file not found, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass this to a file, doc file, and I'm going to validate the doc file. If dash e for file exist, if doc file exist, then we do cat doc file. If the doc file does not exist, I'm going to pass in red saying file doc file does not exist. I'm going to break a line and say, please uh, 
give a valid topic. I'm going to break it here. Cool, and stop it. So now I get a nice message say, a file does not exist, please give a valid topic. So the user already knows that this is not a valid topic. If I pass uh, Unix, it works. Cool, there, are, um, there is another thing here. How does the user know what are the valid topics? The user does not know. Right, so it's kind of weird right, to expect the user to know all the topics that we can have. Right, so we can do something like a BB repos where you have the list here, but I don't want to manually put the list. This does not change very often. Uh, and when I create a new one, it's, I just needed to put it there and it's fine. But a doc folder can be created very often and I, I don't want to put manually there in the location, right? So, but everything is here in docs. So why not go there and figure that out and, and, and list it, right? The same way as we listed here. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to say LL, which is list-L, and I'm going to say list, and I'm going to list everything dot MD. Now I got everything that's MD because I might not have MD stuff. Then I'm going to grab it. So there is one thing here, like BB docs, Unix grab awk. That's the command that we're going to do. So here it's very similar to what we are doing now. So let me go back here. Grab. Now I'm going to grab for uh, uh, I want to get rid of so list md. Now I, I need to get rid of readme. I don't want to search for readme. So I'm going to get rid of readme. I am can do grab readme, but I do not want the readme. I want everything except the readme. So I inverse the, 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 the grab. So I got everything but the readme. Now I'm going to do my awk magic, right? So I'm going to do awk, I'm going to do dash f, to delimiter it and now I can the dash F is going to uh, I'm going to delimit for by um, slash right um, why is I'm, I'm in the folder right so let me get out of the folder and let me go to the BB8 and I'm going to show you why I need to put slash Docs. There you go. Because I might not be in the folder, and then I need to. Uh, I'll probably won't be in the folder, so I need to look for the for the slash. But I want this last slash. I don't care about this, and I don't care about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say awk. I'm going to delimit it by slash. And now in AWK, what I can do is I can, it separate into columns. I can print each column separated. So I can do print column one. And it's going to print everything before here. Print column two. And it's going to print everything between these two. In column three, everything between these here. But I might, I might have more slashes depending on where I am in my computer. So what I'm going to say, I want the last one. Just print the last because that the file name is always going to be the last. Now I need to get rid of this part. So I'm going to do another WK. I'm going to uh, separate by by a hash and I'm going now to print it dash F and now I'm going to print column one 
I could print column two, but I don't know. I don't want column two. Now I have duplicated stuff. I don't want duplicated stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do unique. It's going to get me only unique values. I can get everything here and I can come to my CLI and now I can create a command here. I can execute, I need to execute before here because I'm going to be calling this thing here. Now I, I can do function show all topics. I need to get the topic, the topics, the list of topics and how I execute a command it's a dollar sign in parentheses. And this cannot be LL, LL is an alias on my computer. Um, it's a alias and then I do ls dash L. I also cannot put this because this is a relative folder. I want a absolute folder. So I need to move this to the top. So it has access to this. And now I can change here and put the docs and everything else is the same, right? So and I can come here and I can say echo topics at sign and I need to call the function. I'm going to call the function here. Show all topics. BB docs topics. BB docs, then I get the I even got readme because OMD is lowercase. I'm not sure how I missed that, but anyway. Cool. Now what I need to do is and I need to loop for this, right? I need to make it pretty like the BB repos. I need to make it pretty. Right, so I'm going to say in CN. I'm going to break a line and I'm going to say list of all QA ops topics. I'm going to use printf because I can format it better. I'm going to say I want a string, I want a break line, and I want topic. So I have the title, right? I have a break line here from here to here. I, I can do that stuff. I'm going to give another break line. And I'm going to for topic in topics, the array do done. And I'm going to print F the same thing here because that's the, that's the header and here is the content topic. And I'm going to sort alphabetically. When I do BB docs, I have somewhat better, right? Thing, but what happened here? Why? Oh, I need to. This is a separate string. This is a separate string. Cool. So now it worked. We have a break line. We have another break line. So if I don't put this break line here, it's going to see get clogged I guess I'll uh, see so if I don't put this break line here is also so I need those two break lines to make it a nice separation cool so now I can test it this right so I have everything fully in function so let's say we are in our uh, docs folder I do touch Java BR and now if I do BB docs, it's going to display for me Java. I don't want, yeah, uh, of course I want that, but I don't want to do it manually, right? So now I have a Java folder here, very nice for me. So if I remove the Java, now it's gone. So I don't need to do that. As soon as you have something uh, in your repository, it's going to uh, it's going to it's going to show for you what you have. So now, if I do docs 
git is going to get, if I do unix is going to get, if I do br is going to get, if I do git br is also going to get. So I, I have an amazing way. I'm very excited about this because you are learning something, you are trying to do some, some commands and you know that the CLI already have that information. So you can do bb docs and I want git docs. So say, oh, that's how we do that, that on git. I want the unix docs. So ah, that's how I can do an SSH. And you don't need to leave the, the terminal and go to a browser and search. It's already here for you. So see the default value that we use. It's already here, right? Cool. So yeah, thank you uh, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Uh, if you like, I give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. Thank you.